<clears throat> we no longer have holidays or any special occasions like her. She will leave behind three children, six grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. She has one on the way that she will never see. <clears throat> She also has 11 siblings, a fiance, and many friends, all of whom loved her. <clears throat> no matter how old we get, we need a mother to call, to ask questions, or just to talk to. Her children will no longer have that. Her sister Pam calls her every day from Florida to have their morning coffee together. That's gone. Her granddaughter Sierra and her boyfriend Manny would visit her every weekend to have dinner with her all gone now. Sheila was a very selfless person. She would just give, 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 whether it was clothes, toys, her time, her baked goods. She would do anything for anyone. Our loss cannot be put in words. As far as sentencing is concerned, no amount of punishment can take away our pain of losing a loved one far too soon because of a senseless act. In society, we cannot act on emotion. We must we act responsibly and control ourselves. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the defendant, uh, in an effort to deal with what he described as a neighborhood nuisance, took away a sister, a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, an aunt, and a fiancé from a, a loving and large family. The court saw them gather here uh, every day throughout the trial. So we believe uh, it's time to hold Mr. Pope Joy accountable, and we so ask the court. You can, you're convicted of a cold and calculated crime. The jury convicted you of that. Sentence in this case is mandatory. Uh, so you are turned over to the Michigan Department of